So I've been spending the whole morning working on this Sailor Moon drawing. I'm actually pretty satisfied with how it's turned out so far. I might work on it a little bit more. I didn't really record myself drawing it because I got super into it and I started it like as soon as I woke up. So yeah, that's what she's looking like now. So I've kind of hit a wall in a way um i don't necessarily have like art block because i have a lot of ideas and i feel very inspired and motivated but i've kind of this tends to happen to me every few weeks or few months where i don't i stop identifying with what i'm creating and it i don't know how to explain it like i stop identifying with it and i feel i start to feel like my skills are not good enough to create what I'm wanting to create. So yeah, every like few, like probably like every month or so, I will hit that wall and it's really not a great feeling because I want to make art, but it's like every, I think it's been like probably like three pieces in a row now that I finish them and I'm like really disappointed or I finish them and I like them but then the next day or a few hours later I instantly see everything that I did wrong and everything that I could improve so yeah I mean it's part of the growing process like I have told you guys I barely started digitally illustrating like a year year and a half ago so, you know, it's understandable for me to not be perfect and not know everything about the medium, but <sighs> yeah, it just really puts a damper on things because I want to create more stickers for the shop, more products for the shop, but you know, I can't, I'm not going to release something that I don't identify with or that I'm not proud of. So yeah, that's that's how I've been feeling the past few days and I hope I hope that it'll go away soon I hope that I'm gonna try to push through I've been kind of switching between taking resting periods of like not doing anything that has to do with art and then kind of like pushing through the feeling and still making art um, so yeah <laughs> I have made a new backing card for the third Animal Crossing pack that is coming and here are the new special character stickers and then this is going to be villager pack number one and then this will be villager pack number three. Um, I decided to go for more of a sketchy, simple 
type of look just because that's what I like better but yeah these will definitely be restocked by the time that this video goes up so these will be up on my site I just got home from the post office but I also made a quick stop at the Lowe's gardening center because I wanted to get succulents for my little tiny pots that I just bought um, and I found some but I also found this really really beautiful bonsai I have always wanted a bonsai tree but I know that there are a lot of maintenance and a lot of responsibility um, but this one was just so pretty and the pot that it comes in is so pretty and I just I fell in love with him and I had to take him home so yeah I, I bought this little bonsai So I'm having an issue with these, I'm f like kind of finally finishing up getting them cut and for some reason the stitches, the fauna and the ketchup keep cutting lopsided and it's the strangest thing because I've tried fixing it in so many different ways. I've calibrated my machine a million times and it's cutting everything else fine, it's just these three and it's so annoying and I also I just hope that you guys like this new sketch I've been really stressed about this new pack I don't know why I guess with the last one I tried to be more true to like Nintendo's design but with this one I'm more true to my style and I'm just I don't know I'm just stressed about it but I like them and that's what matters I just hope that you guys do um but yeah I'm having like that issue with the lopsidedness, it's so weird. I'm just going back and cutting them to refine them, but like I don't want to have to do that with every single one, so I hope I can find a solution for that. So I went to Michael's and bought this this baby and some organizers and some stuff from Daiso. Um, but yeah, I saw Vicky, or thanks XU, that she uses one of these carts. This is from Ikea, but she uses one of these carts to organize all her store stuff, so you guys will watch me assemble this and organize all my store stuff. Thank you. 
Okay, so here is my cart. I do have to get this off with some soap or some alcohol or something, but I will give you guys a little bit of a tour of my cart. So right here I have my Animal Crossing sticker packs and probably more sticker packs as they come. Right here I have the um, keychains that I have left and I did order more of a different kind so those will just go here. And here I keep all my individual stickers. I have these two extras because I am waiting on some enamel pins so these will be here to store those. Right here I have my packing stickers so I have these and these and I just have these extra spaces because I know that eventually I'll start filling this stuff up, so I just wanted to make sure I had enough. And then of course I have this open space right here. And then right here on the side I have the extra backing cards for the sticker packs. Um, down here I have this, my little, my new round corner punch because my other one broke. Um, so on this next level, I have all of my packing stuff. So I have all of my smaller mailers. I have some of the bigger ones at the bottom. I have some vellum envelopes, which actually just came in today and I will start using them from now on. And I have the little um, cellophane bags to pack individually. And then down here, I have my tissue paper just hanging here. And then I have the sticker sheets stacked right here. And then I have this tiny little paper filer with my prints and right here I have my paper cutter and my thank you cards and then right here I have all of my packing tape hanging and of course like I said I will start filling this cart out more and more as my store grows right here I have the washi tape that I use to pack my orders and such so yeah I'm really excited about this I thought it was a very good idea because I kind of before had everything scattered everywhere and now it's all compacted into this cart. Also ignore that bag of trash, that's literally all the trash that I have accumulated from packing orders and calibrating my machine and making stickers and then that's another box of trash from this. So yeah. I also bought this little ceramic pot at Daiso for my little bear paw succulent. He looks very cute in there. And when I bought the succulents for these two pots, I also bought this pot that's like already arranged with multiple different succulents. And since I brought it home, it has started flourishing so much. These succulents opened up a lot. These really lifted up, they were kind of wilting. So I think it really likes this spot and I did water it. And I also decided to put my bonsai here. And this succulent I had bought by accident because I thought that it would fit in one of my tiny pots, but it did not, so it was too big. So today at Daiso, I bought this little, I'm not even sure if it's supposed to be a pot, but just like this little container for it. But it does not have any drainage or anything, so I have to be really careful when watering it, but succulents tend to be pretty um, hardy anyways.